Well, everyone, welcome back to the channel. This morning, what I want to do on my motor, I've got it all put back together, but I, I want to I want to prime the motor. So I've got my priming shaft in here in place of the distributor. I pull the distributor out. This goes in, it goes onto your cordless drill. And then I also put a, a pressure gauge to see how much oil pressure the, the motor generates. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire it up here. And then we should see some oil coming out on these push rods uh, as it runs. It might take a few minutes for it to get pumped up there. Uh, I, uh, I assembled the motor back in February, the first part of February, and then I had my surgery and it's been sitting ever since. So all the oils, even though I kind of oil everything I was putting it together, it's all kind of drained back down into the pan. So uh, my main two goals today is to try to get oil coming out of every push rod so I know I'm getting good uh, circulation of oil and also check and see what my oil pressure is. I'm hoping at least it's, it's at least somewhere around 50 pounds of pressure with uh, the speed I can spin it with this drill. So let's get it fired up and see what happens. Okay, looks like I got about 65 pounds of oil pressure. So let it run a little bit and see if I start seeing oil coming out of any of the lifters. That is turning the right direction, right? Okay, it looks like I'm starting to get some oil out on the driver's side. You can see right here I'm getting oil coming out of this lifter a little bit. I got some coming out of this one, you see it dripping down here. So I am getting... I got 65 pounds of oil pressure, that's great. I'm gonna have a mess here to clean up. Okay, it looks like I'm getting oil out of several of the lifters, so I'm going to stop because I'm making a mess. So I'm, I'm pretty confident I've got good oil pressure, I've got good oil circulation. I mean, if this was a super high performance engine, I would probably keep running it until I had oil coming out of every lifter, but I've got to come out enough of them, I know I'm going to be okay on this. What works is if you got an old pair of cheap steel, stamp steel valve covers, you can just cut the top out of them, bolt them on, that way you can run it, not have to worry about making a mess with your oil, and you can run it all day long if you want. So, that's how you check, make sure you're getting primed for your pump, you're getting oil circulation, and also check, see what your pressure is. So, I'm, I'm real happy with that. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the distributor back in, I get it lined up, I want to set it about, they say anywhere from 8 to 12 degrees before top dead center on a static timing. And then once I get the car fired up, then I can do my advanced timing and get it set where it actually needs to be set at. So, um, but I'm going to put the distributor back in. That's pretty simple. I mean, uh, you just drop it in so your your rotors, well, you got it on top dead center on your, on your, uh, Harmonic balancer, let me show you over here. What I always do, you can see, I've got a white line painted in the groove on the harmonic balancer, and right now I've got it set on zero, so that is top dead center. I'm gonna crank it around to my compression stroke and set it about 12 degrees before top dead center, statically here, and then when I put in my distributor, I'll have I'll have the number one cylinder, the rotor on the distributor pointed towards the number one cylinder. That's how you set it. And then I will also, when I put the cap on, I'll make sure I rotate the distributor until the number one plug wire is directly in line with that at 12 degrees for top dead center. And that'll give me my basic timing to start with. So when you first fire it up, it should start up and run. 
uh, without hurting anything, and then you can go ahead and do your advanced timing. And I'll show you how to do that once I get to that point. So that pretty much takes care of this video for today. And um, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.